is given this opportunity to open doors. That's why my job simply isn't just to design clothes. It's to lead by example, to open doors and make sure those doors are open. If I'm going to be the first, you know, it's the younger generation that's going to carry the torch. My only real career goal is that, you know, I'm one of like two black fashion designers in Paris. Within two, three years, I hope that there's triple that amount. And advocating for young designers, building in roads is, is what it's about. So to answer your question, of course it's difficult, but you know, I didn't do this work to for a vacation. You don't see me posting pictures on the beach in Bahamas talking about life is stressful. It's like we're here at 6 p.m. on a Tuesday making sure we're doing the work. And I'm from Rockford, Illinois. My parents are from Ghana and West Africa. My background was almost in a way opposite of the designers or icons that I looked up to, but I wanted to see myself in it. So I've once never throughout my career lost sight of where I started from and who I am. And a way to like build that infrastructure to sort of keep that perspective is giving back and relating to like the younger version of myself or the, the predicament that a lot of young people are in so that they can follow in my footsteps. Within 2020, there's like a, there's a calling for us all to sort of be aware of the overarching circumstances that relate to young black people in America, but also the world abroad is like giving the same opportunities to get on that ecosystem of being within high uh, fashion. So Postmodern is essentially a scholarship fund that I launched uh, raising a million dollars to give merit-based scholarships to young black students, men, women across America. And then free game is sort of for all. It doesn't matter if you're in fashion, doesn't matter if you're in finance. It's essentially, it's a network of those that are in an industry to give a breakdown of how they got their career started in 10 bullet points. And it's available for free online. Perfectionism doesn't advance anything, ironically. As a creative and as a designer, there's no wrong way to go about the future of your career. The only failure is not to try, you know, and I think that designers, we all have like a, or creators or artists, we have a natural convention to sort of be maybe tormented or a little bit of like an inner struggle is is the work living up to its fullest potential or is it as great as the work that you idolize from your your design idols but at the end of the day it's your body of work and it's the the amount of work and the refinement of that work that'll define who you are as a creative not comfortable with like a status quo you know it's important to know too I, originally i was just a consumer I was the person that was just buying things that were interesting. I came from an era within streetwear in New York, in Los Angeles, in Japan, that there was sort of like great vibrance because it was new and sort of an independent market. And then obviously times are different. So instead of when those brands or designers, those things weren't sort of able to continue, I saw a void picking up the conversation where they left off. And so for me, it's just about expressing ideas and sort of building a project that's sort of tangible in a way. Heron and I were just amongst a spirit that wouldn't leave it at like a bar conversation. You know, we wouldn't be like, so we want to go start a boy band, a DJ's call it Ben Trill, run around the world and make t-shirt. We, the next morning, we just do it. And often I, I get a lot of questions about, hey, like, I want to do what you do. It's not even about anything else but just doing it. It sounds like a motivational speech or it sounds like very figurative, but nine times out of 10, we all have ideas that you sort of just get gratification off of like saying it. We sort of translated that into doing it because the generation older than us doesn't believe that we can do it or doesn't believe that we have the intellect. So now I'm in a phase of just like proving to myself, but also like proving to a generation that not only I exist, but there's like tons of kids in every city, just like all of us, that believe that we can create as, as the things that we idolize.
Who is your Yoda and why? I have a ton. Picture it like a mood board or something. It's everyone from Kanye West, of course, you know, Pharrell Williams, like um, Marcel Duchamp, Damien Hurst, Rem Koolhaas, um, Kurt Cobain, Easy e um, King Cruel, you know, um, Radiohead, the idea of that. I wouldn't be into fashion design if it wasn't for Marc Jacobs. Yep. So I think mentors, Yodas, for everyone is important mm. and it has a distinct impact on my work. But what is it about Off-White that you think resonated? Was it timing? Was it What, what was it that worked? Uh, it's the same piece of advice that I give, you know, because I want to mentor. I want more, I want third to be more of us. It's really about being critical at the end of the day, when I, if you see it come out, it's going through like a rapid algorithm of people that hate it or think that I'm not a designer. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I think of something or propose an idea, I'm like 20 times like naysaying it, refining it, and then it's out. And now it's after time, you're able to, I'm building a vocabulary. Like Kim said, it's like I don't read comments, I don't read reviews, I don't read anything positive. Mm -hmm. To me, I, the 17-year-old version of myself didn't think that this was possible. So every day that I'm able to sort of like make an idea and see it come out, that's enough fulfillment. I'm from Chicago. I didn't go to a fashion school or a design school to sort of like sort of feel where the shallow end is on like, is this credible or not? So I wrestled with that. Like, are these ideas that resonate? in the public that we were doing, making these graphic t-shirts is that fashion, you know, it doesn't, I know that it's not traditional. And so what I've come to realize is that the modern world is us to define, you know, the definition of credibility will change inherently as our generation adds 10 years onto itself. And I think that's super important in a way where it's just understanding that this idea of offering an update to classic things is it's what we're it's postmodern you know Post -post exactly it's like i see the freedom in that and i think that that's can influence and make more impactful work just sort of an honesty with what's the sort of foundation and then where it's going from there one of the, the main sort of focuses of my work is to make sure that it's necessary and important you know, make sure that our generation is, is valid. You know, that streetwear is a valid fashion movement. And it's simply that, what you're saying, contemporary art has this movement and community that keeps those four walls together, and it's a very educated system. You, you make a reference, everyone who's viewing the art generally knows the reference. Right. And in fashion, I want to take that streetwear mentality and put it on the fashion timeline as that same respect that that industry gets, the same creativity, and sort of join those two things together. So I think it's, it's about understanding the two or three generations that presided our idea in fashion. And once you have a foundation of that, and so art is a sort of think tank of different ideas that are translated through painting, sculpture, you know, and I think fashion, I, I blatantly show that to this demographic so that other people can learn who their favorite artist is. Every project I take on, I try to like swing as hard as possible and make it as sort of potent and as good. You know, I don't, I don't do a project that I can't sort of, sort of grasp around. You know, and I think more than anything, it's. I'm focused on this sort of lineage of work and sort of consistency across different. That to me is more important than a particular project and what the resonance is on that. It's that if I did something, an album cover, a sneaker design, an in-store experience, or a temporary flyer on my Instagram, that everything is rooted in some principle that's signature to my work.